We have more local coverage now. We're expecting a suspect arrested for a murder on Federal Hill to return to Rhode Island this week to face charges. Joel Francisco captured over the weekend in New Braunfels, Texas. That's right near San Antonio. Now we're hearing from a relative of the man Francisco is accused of killing. And reporter Erica Ritchie joining us live in Providence with an update. Well, good morning, Danielle and Patrick. Good morning to you. It's been 19 days since 46-year-old Troy Pine was stabbed to death outside the Nara Lounge here on Federal Hill. Since then, his family has been seeking closure since the suspect has been on the run. Now they can rest a little bit easier, but they say that uh, we'll hear more from them rather in just a moment. But first, let's talk about the arrest that got them to that point. Joel Francisco, the 41 year old suspect in this case, was found in Texas on Saturday. The Rhode Island U.S. Attorney's Office says Francisco was arrested without incident at a motel in Texas. He'd been on the run since the deadly stabbing at the Nara Lounge on Federal Hill on October 2nd. Local police and local lawmakers contended this was an interpersonal incident between Francisco and Troy Pine and did not believe the public was in danger. Francisco couldn't be found for more than two weeks, and now that he is, Pine's family is relieved. I can sleep better knowing that he ain't going to run into one of my family members or something on the streets of Rhode Island. You know, Rhode Island's a small state. You know, I, I, I really didn't want him to run into anybody that my uncle knew in fear of any type of retaliation. You know, I didn't want that, that you know, to be his outcome. And he went on to say that he doesn't believe his family is capable of any violence, but he says emotions do run high in times of grief, especially when it's dealing with the loss of a man who was vital to their family. We'll hear more about that coming up 30 minutes from now when I have that part of the story. For now, live in Providence, Erica Ritchie, Eyewitness News.